point, he, he just don't want to be jumping, right? That's then Coney's true. like, give me the controller. And he tried, couldn't jump. He at realized, all. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, this is like, a problem. I'm not lying, bro. Oh, okay. I, don't, I don't controller John. Like, that's not a thing. Yeah, no John. Exactly. No John. All right. Let's all get right. into it, though. Game one. Oh, Astro. Okay, so we got British representation. We got EU in here right now. Uh, Peach Fuzz doing the right things, still trying to get this early percent lead. And uh, Astro, obviously. Astro just kind of the yeah playing playing the nest game. We got the uh, the magic hands coming out, trying to get this edge guard early on, and trying to force out some of these early projectiles from Peach Fuzz. Because we all know Rob definitely wants to be throwing those gyros, throwing those lasers, trying to do as much as you can on the uh, long range projectile play. But this time, I feel like Astro is not going to be waiting around for anything. Definitely, we're gonna get caught in that uh, PK fire, and you see uh, Peach Fuzz trying to get out of that desperately, but the drag back down with the up air from Astro looking really nice. Uh oh. Okay, well, looks for the easiest edge guard option, and we almost get past to try to punish, but Peach Fuzz is still stuck in the off stage situation, and Astro is gonna be able to take you from off stage to up stage, and then right off screen. Yeah, we got to see because right now, yeah, there's a lot going on and we can see a, yep, an up there and that will almost take the stock, but good DI from Ascro still staying alive against all odds and the Z drop is not going to be enough. We find a great air dodge. That's that third jump coming in for Ness. Okay, down air. Oh, but great wait, the delay. I love it. Astro not gonna give up that ghost so easily. True. And it looks like Astro is just gonna keep going for the same timings until Peach Fudge catches on. I feel like you're just like, okay, well he hasn't he hasn't gotten the right timing on the down air just yet. So I'm free to keep going for this as much as I like. See a lot of good stuff. We see that drag down into the forward tilt of all things, uh, but we don't see a spike over ledge, so it's not going to take the stock. Trying to overhang with that yo yo, and it's almost enough. Peach Fuzz is doing the right things at ledge, I think, to get themselves out of dodge for free. Right? The situation that Astro has been very good in is getting off the top platforms. Against a character like Rob, it's really tough. Has a lot of good buttons. Oh, nice! Okay. Oh, blew in the way. Nice. Good job getting off stage, being in that position. The on stage, going for down airs, couldn't catch the timing, right? Hey, I'm just gonna run right in the way, play a little interference, take the stock down. But you gotta know that Astro's gonna be uh, cognizant of that now going forward, right, Nerf? Definitely, I mean, Astro's gonna be looking for that in the future. Obviously, the body block was great and it took the stock. Uh, and you still take the hit, but it's all good. Astro's still getting a lot of great coverage here with these drag downs, though. I have to wonder, their tech seems to be on point. They just need to capitalize continuously. Like, we get a couple oh! damage, but looks like an early up smash. That almost kills, but no rage on Rob, so Astro stays alive. How do we get back from this deficit, Has? Got to get out of the corner first, right, Nerf? Right. Doing a great job avoiding all the traps at the ledge until we roll into a laser. Not what you want to see here for Astro. Oh, no tech. I think that's going to yeah, do it. I was going to say, I don't, think, I don't think you make that back. No tech on the stage Dang. fight. Crucial for Astro. Peach Fuzz set up that situation so perfectly and knew I can throw out a quick enough aerial hitbox that I can send you straight in. And if you're not ready for this, uh, all of a sudden, you don't have the distance. You don't have the jump. Yeah. That's right, and I, I think something to be said about Rob is like he really is uh, cut from the same cloth of himself, basically. Where when he's juggling you, when he's in advantage state, it feels horrible, right? It feels so bad. You go to the side, then he has side B or gyro available to pick you off on on the side blast zone. You want to go high? Forget about it. He's got uh, booster burner into up air, you know, be able to cover all that stuff. Not to mention though, Rob when he's getting hit, when you're hitting Rob and beating him up. Yeah, it feels good. It's great. It does feel good. I mean, he is big, but I mean, it feels like it's one of those things that he doesn't have enough, like, super strong get up off the tools that uh, it feels like Astro can take a lot for these advantage states. The conversions have been there so far, has. That's right. Stepping back, right. PK fire. There oh, my is. goodness. Yeah, perfect coverage with the PK fire. We've seen kind of shades of this. Like, uh, this is an idea that it's been building since game one. Uh, Astro was doing the right thing, setting up these PK fire uh, hit stuns. And uh, of course, being able to get a kill move like a backer out of that one is going to be the perfect option to take the stock. Still, though, what a lead here for Astro, right? Playing so, so well on his first stock. 
Doesn't want to drop the lead at any time soon, Nerf. I don't yeah. think he will. Doesn't want to feel like uh, game one was anything but a fluke. But Astro still doing the right things. Tech rolling in. Doesn't get caught by the run-up grab that Peach Fuzz is so fervently looking for. You know you can get like a down throw into up tilt, things like that. You can really rack up the damage on Astro and create a juggle situation that Ness sometimes has trouble getting back down from. Right. I will give Astro again the credit for getting off the platform. So uh, it seems effortless, but it's so tough against a good Rob like Peach Fuzz. So yeah. lots of props there for Astro. Patience, right? Patience is key. We say it so much up here in our It's true. And we're going to get that up tilt to up air as I expected. Here it is just a little bit later. Peach Fuzz finally finds that mark. And now we're at 82%. Not terrible. Rob has a little bit more heft than uh, some of the average characters. So still able to tank a little bit more. But Ooh. this is starting to get dicier. You're getting close to the blast zone, dangerously so. Plus, how many times have we seen Rob at Rage and just like steal a KO at like 4 at 4 oh, 50%? Yeah, it's it's scary on both time. sides, I'll say it. It is. Stuff, though. I, I think Ascaro's doing a great job playing patiently. Watch the grab. Back air out of shield. Good recognition right there. Yeah, I knew that Petros is like, looking to overtake consistently. Great tech on that stage spike from the PK Thunder. Looking really good. Peach Fuzz ready for any eventuality. Still, gy with Gyro in hand, I have to wonder, like, uh, Astro is still stuck in uh, trying to peek for this, uh, yeah, this neutral win. But we got it there. Running up now, like that fly in there is going to be really nice. That is the no-fly zone right there of this game. I like it. Keep the pressure up, right? Don't let the robot breathe because you give him that space, he's going to charge up Gyro. He's happy to play kind of that mid-range game as well between the laser uh, and gyro and then just his, his general zoning tools, right? Forward air, down tilt, God forbid. Oh my God, but so ambitious with the PK flash, like it was just not worth it there. Astro unable to find that, and here we go. Another lead in out of that down throw. Peach Fuzz getting really, really good leverage off of that tool alone, and that might be enough to bring this back to even. Still, they got to get themselves back. Oof. Barely missing laser there on the tech chase. A good idea, charge down smash. I was gonna say, I don't think it's enough, but I love the idea and I love the call out. For sure, and not able to get anything off of that. The ledge intangibility is so good for Astro, perfectly timed, but getting caught by the fade back in of the up air, still staying alive. Great DI and no rage on Rob. This has oh. been a consistent issue. Uh, Rob doesn't have rage when he needs it the most. Uh, there's been like some moments where you almost get the kill, but if you had rage, it would have made the difference. And right now, Peach Fuzz losing the stock early, I think is making it harder for them to win. Definitely. Looking for a lot of side beats yet again. The PK fire been a good button here. Ascaro has to make it back to stage. Good wait, hesitation, Ooh. air dodge shoot, mixing it up. And PK thundering a ton, sprinkling some air dodges in there. Oh, Ness, no. Ness has mixed on his recovery, he really does. It's right. still, it still can get picked off, don't get me wrong, but dang, it's better than it's ever been in Smash history. My god, insane anti-gyro play from Ascaro, using the PK fire to stuff out the gyro. We saw it pushed back by that, using the shield to negate it entirely. As soon as it hits shield, it dissipates, and now keeping it on that platform where Peach Fuzz has to go for something else. Jeez. We're looking for that yo-yo, oh. but yeah, the Grab getting caught out for right. the fail by that back air. Short hop back air is going to be perfect at 190 and still could not get the kill. Rob, if you're not able to do it at that point, I feel like there's got to be a change in the game plan. I agree 100%. I mean, Rob, like you said, bigger guy, you know, when it comes to the weight in the, cla in, in the, in the game. But Ness is a character that does not lack any KO power. No. Back air is so good. Obviously, we got back throw as well. Great opportunities for Ness to set up edge guards too against someone like Rob who has to float back to stage and is a big body. So yes. clean that uh, on both sides. There's a little bit to clean up uh, on the side of Ascro. It's more about getting the stocks done earlier so that you don't get robbed. So that yeah. you don't get literally robbed. Yeah, well, that was a, a play on yeah. words. Yeah, and then, and it was really working. Like you take those stocks early and you keep the percent low. And like you just take an advantage state, put him to, at 80. And then you edge guard him to death, right? And then that way he doesn't have any rage to get these earlier kills that he needs in order to beat out Ness. Because Ness can be a floaty character, can be caught out in the air. And this is where we got to see the difference being made up by Peach Fuzz. We need more anti airs. We need more uh, aerial dominance, which is something that Rob can get. But against Ness, it is a little bit harder than you might think. Yeah, I mean, just look at it. Just look at the lengths. It's like wings. Ooh. Oh, wait! Still alive. Oh, my God. Looking for a back air there, too. Down smash at the ledge. The aggression. Astro knew that was a great opportunity and tried to take it. Nerf. You know it, man. And right now, still using the insurance Ooh. of the PK fire, doing the right thing. Almost got uh, what I looked like it was going for a trump, but ended up going for the get up option. It's just a fake out. That was a really, really interesting move from Astro. And I have to wonder, what's next here? Because we're already getting another uh, down smash, but no charge here. And Peach Fuzz trying to use the rage here. And it is going to work out here on ledge. That's going to take it. 
said here, living to 90% yet again. Nerf, oh my goodness. Peach Buzz might start running away with this one too. It's feeling good, but uh -oh. hold on. PK Fires going down though. Oh, the actual real use of the side beat. Yeah. Sakurai it, smiles down from somewhere. Right, because right? it reflects the projectile and it also uh, gets your opponent caught up in it, which is really just not a great place for them to be. So Peach and, it has, and it has good base knockback now too, which is just, you know, a lot of good stuff. Ooh, so goodness. Ooh. Okay, following up the platform. Good shield discipline. Going to back right out and then go for the uh, for the punish. Peach Fuzz going to get this down throw. Now we find, oh yep, God. up tilt up air. That's been consistent for Peach Fuzz. And Astro has got to figure that out. That might have been a DI mix-up. Again, we're talking about, you know, things that Astro uh, is not picking up on, right? Or is getting caught by a lot. Making a difference in this match, but he's still right in this, to be honest with you, Nerf. Ooh. Peach Fuzz is getting out of these PK Fire setups on ledge better than they were in the last game, which is so crucial because that's how Astro was getting all of their kills in the last game. Right. So now they're not able to find anything 108 and still we're struggling. No to way. Here. No way. The top. Are you, you serious? Got it? Are you kidding me? Thunderstorm coming through off the top with the PK Thunder. Is that going to be enough to bring Astro back into this game? I mean, only time will tell. We air dodge past the, uh, the down oh smash. Boy. Looking pretty good. 20% off the rip. Still going to have to look for a sharking opportunity. Sticks him on the platform, but doesn't go too far in. Now Astro sees the green light, triple fair. What do we get after this? We just have to find that higher recovery. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh, but back there, he couldn't get a game one, but he clutched it out in game three. Huge PK Thunder off the top for the second to last stock. And the final stock, huge reversal, missed it in game one. Carried him off stage with the side magnet and got the back air. Super clean stuff. That's usually what you see from Rob off stage. Yeah. That was so godlike. That kind of reversal oh, we're feeling stuff it. that, like, yeah, you definitely oh. only see that on, like, a one-sided fight. But this time, it is indeed Ness that finds it. Oh. Look at this. Yeah, let's, let's check this out. I mean, because it's like, I have to think, like, man, you had, you had that deficit from the beginning of the set. And you still, you don't let it get to you. You break out of that mental stack. Unreal. I just want to watch the end of this game yet again. Oh my god, yeah. Back I mean, throw, there was yeah. the back throw. There's con consistent stuff coming in uh, from Ness, and that's like what helps propel you a little bit. But yeah, you can't let things like that up air like kind of kind of get you down and keep you from uh, from unlocking that potential. You know that's what I right. mean? Here we go. This is where it this really huge, started. Yeah. I love the idea of the back air too. He, Ness can't reach me from down there. He can if he uses PK Thunder though. Back air. Boom. And this time, Beautiful, it's almost like you dude. use the gyro as Beautiful. an extension tool, too, that makes it so much more volatile because we saw like five times in that game three that obviously you're able to get out of the PK Fire setups until the one that matters the most, and that's how Astro brings right. it home. Crazy right. stuff. Insane Love play. that. That was amazing. And again, we, it brings us back to game one where Astro didn't hit that conversion. Off stage, mm. looking for the, P, the side magnet into back air, and it whiffed. Might have changed the, the future of that set, right? Had he been able to hit that. But it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, he's able to get it when it really counted, right. which is arguably cooler, chat. Arguably cooler.